Hello, I'm Carolyn Herbert from the Finance News Network and joining me from Powerhouse Ventures is Chief Operating Officer Colin Dawson. Colin, welcome to FNN. Thanks, Carolyn. Now, can you start by giving us an introduction to Powerhouse Ventures? Yes, we uh, provide early stage funding for innovations that come out of typically universities, could be other research institutes, and typically they'll have very strong intellectual property, which is going to ultimately be very valuable to industry. So you can view us as a, a bridge of funding and expertise that will shape up that opportunity to make it more ready for industrial use or mar marketplace use. And Colin, now to your investment portfolio, what is the spread of investments? It's a broad spread. We have medical and healthcare, we have ICT digital, we have agri-tech, environmental, and clean tech engineering. So we try to maintain a pretty even spread over time. We have different stages of pre-seed, seed, and post-seed investments, all in a reasonably early stage, but some of them graduating on towards revenue and uh, being ready for industrial purposes. Yeah. So at what stage are they at? We have um, 12 investments at the moment in pre-seed stage. We have three in what we call seed, a little bit more advanced, and we have another seven that are post-seed. So in that seven, they're developing revenue and customers and bigger resources, management teams, and so on. And Colin, how has the portfolio performed over the past 12 months? Oh, it's been great. We've had uh, a 35% return year on year. Uh, that's quite a stretch, and it's something that we hope to maintain into the future. And now to deal flow. How do you compete for deals, and what does the process generally involve? Yeah, we don't usually view it as competing. We view it as um, the relationships and the awareness of the great research that's going on in Australia and New Zealand. And over time, we get a deep understanding of that. We develop relationships with the university commercialisation officers and the researchers themselves. And once we do that and have some projects with those organisations, trust develops and we get to identify even better and better processes and probably do it more efficiently over time as we go back with those groups and do more deals. And how much do you typically invest in any one startup? Well, typically it'd be between half a million and a million that early at this stage. Uh, we have a target zone of ownership of about 25 to 35%, so we don't wish to dominate that company ownership. It's very important to us that the research organisation has a decent stake in that venture so that as they create impact through their research through that startup company, they also get a benefit and that will encourage them over time to go back to the well and do more and more deals like this. So we need to have something in it for everyone in that ecosystem. And finally, Colin, where would you like to see the company 12 months from now? Uh, well, we think we've got a great model. We'd like to continue growing our portfolio. At the moment, we have 22 companies in our portfolio. We'd like to see that grow to 30. And naturally, as we do that, these companies are hungry for further capital for growth and development. So we'll be raising capital to support both new deals and the existing portfolio. So um, yeah, we can scale our model quite successfully. In fact, it's... Uh, we amortise our costs and are more effective than ever before as we grow the portfolio to a bigger number. Colin Dawson, thanks for the introduction to Powerhouse Ventures. My pleasure, Carolyn.